<laughs> good morning, everybody. It's good to see you here this morning. What Bible club is this number? This is number four. 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 Yeah, you guys missed a lot. You guys missed out on a cool activity last week. We made some Ten Commandments, but hey, today's one's going to be good as well, so don't worry. When you, after you do today's one, you're going to forget about <laughs> last week's one, mate. <laughs> Okay, do you want to come sit in the front? Definitely, then we can all sit together. Yeah, I can see all of you. Thanks for coming. Give me a high five. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to be here. Good to have you here. Yeah. Okay, what do we start with? Do you remember? We pray, don't we? We always start with prayer. We always want to acknowledge God first. All right, so let's pray. <laughs> Close your eyes. All right, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for uh, being able to come here today. Help us to learn what you have us to learn today and help us to have fun. And uh, I pray, Lord, that the activity will help the kids to remember what they learned today. Um, we thank you for the Lord Jesus, who is our sacrifice. And we pray these things in his name. Amen. amen. Say amen. amen. That's right. <laughs> Okay, I got my three rules, don't I? One of my three rules. Number one, we sit quietly. All right? Shh, sit quietly. If you sit noisy, I'm going to have to get you in trouble. I'm going to have to ask your mum to come over. What's number two? I want you to pay attention. All right? When the bishop's talking, what do you guys do? Pay attention. And the third rule, what is it? The only? Uh, stay still. Stay still? Yeah, Zephy, what do you think? Put your hand up if you want to talk. That's right. You want to try it again? We try our hands again. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, today we're learning about Leviticus. Who's heard about the name Leviticus before? The book Leviticus. This is the number, this is the third book in the Bible. Where does the word Leviticus come from? It comes from the name Levi. Levi. Yeah, Levi was one of the 12 sons of Israel. Did you know that this is somebody's name? Levi was somebody's name. So the Levite tribe was named after Levi. Is, you know, Israel was somebody's name as well. So these tribes were named after people. You know, there was a tribe that was close to your name, Simon, Simeon. So imagine if you guys had a tribe each, it's like your name, it'd be like the Timotheites, the Simonites, the Zephites, the Theonites, Sarites, you know, the Abelites. See, that's how the names were. In the Bible, they're named after people. You know, that's why when you think of these places in the Bible, like Canaan, these are named after people. So today we're learning about Leviticus. Leviticus is named after Levi. This is about the Levitical priesthood. This is the priest's that did all the animal sacrifice. So that's why today we're learning a bit about the burnt offering or the burnt sacrifice. That's what the Leviticus, book of Leviticus is about. So it's about the priesthood. That was Aaron. Aaron was part of the tribe of Levi. So we're learning about the priesthood and animal sacrifices. Who knows what a sacrifice is? Do you know what a sacrifice is or are you just putting your hand up? Do you know what a sacrifice is? What's a sacrifice? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Well, a sacrifice, a sacrifice is something that dies in your place. Right? So, so when we have an animal sacrifice, that means the animal, instead of you having to die, the animal is dying in your place. So God put animal sacrifice in place as a picture of something dying in our place for our sins. So they would sacrifice all sorts of things in Leviticus, and this is what they would sacrifice them on. This is, an, this is an altar in the tabernacle. It'll look something like this. There's a big kind of square box. You know, it was made of brass. Do you know what brass is? It's like a metal that's made of copper. It's a copper alloy. If you guys don't know what that is. It's a big brass box. So it's kind of looks orangey golden. And the Bible describes what this altar looked like. It had four horns and it had these sticks going through these holes what were these sticks for do you know it's so they could carry it because it's really heavy so they would have people on each side 
and they would carry it. And it gives us the measurements in the Bible, how big it is. It tells us what it was made of. It was made of shit and wood, overlaid with brass. You see? And then this is like a grate here. Who's ever had a barbecue before? A barbecue? It looks a bit like a barbecue, doesn't it? Because they put the animals on it, the wood and the fire, and then they put the animals on the top. And that's what the altar looked like in the tabernacle. And then they put their sacrifices on there. So the things that would die for our sins in its place as a picture, they'd put on the altar. So here's a picture of what it might look like of the, of the priests doing the animal sacrifice. They're preparing the animals here. And you see how it's on the wood. And the priests there are preparing a sacrifice for God as a picture. Now this is our verse today from Leviticus 3.5. This is a bit longer today. It says, And Aaron's sons. So who are Aaron's sons? They were the priests. The priests were part of the tribe of Levi, but they could only be somebody who descended from Aaron. And Aaron's sons shall burn it on the altar, upon the burnt sacrifice. Do you see what they're doing? Burning it on the altar. Which is upon the wood. Do we see the wood here? that is on the fire, it is an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord. A sweet savour, it smelled really good. Who likes barbecues? You know when the meat is cooking? Oh, it smells really good, doesn't it? I know Simon really likes it. Jeremiah, do you like it? Yeah? <laughs> you like barbecues? When the meat is cooking, it smells really good, doesn't it? That's a reminder for us as well. When you know, when Jesus Christ was a sacrifice for us, it was a sweet savour unto the Lord. So let's read this together. Leviticus chapter 3, verse 5. And Aaron's sons shall burn it on the altar upon the burnt sacrifice, which is upon the wood that is on the fire. It is an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord. Okay. Sure. Oh, that's a that's a good question. You know, well, they well they do prepare the animal as well, but the reason why it's burnt is because this is a picture of Jesus Christ suffering for us in hell. So this is why the sacrifice was always burnt, and this is what we want to learn today. See, these animals they could never take away our sins because an animal can't die for us. We need a perfect sacrifice. See, so you see, all those animals were a picture of Jesus Christ coming to be our sacrifice, to die for our sins. You know, when John the Baptist saw Jesus, what did he say? He said, Behold, which means look, behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So you see how God put all these animal sacrifices in Leviticus. It was a picture for us because one day Jesus would come and he would be our sacrifice to die for our sins. And he, just like those sacrifices that were burnt in the Old Testament, Jesus Christ went to hell for you, for your sins. Aren't you glad that you have a sacrifice, that you don't need to go to hell? You can believe on Jesus. So how do we get saved? How do we believe on Jesus? We just call upon him. We just say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. I deserve hell, but I believe you died for me. Please save me. If we call upon Jesus, then we can be saved. And that's our sacrifice. So we have an activity today to remind us of the sacrifice. So this is what you guys are going to make today. Today we're going to, this is on a plastic plate, but you guys are going to do it on a paper plate. So remember how, how our altar looked? It was a square with the grate, had the fire on it. So we have our verse in here, Leviticus 3, 5, And Aaron's sons shall burn it on the altar, upon the burnt sacrifice, which is upon the wood that is on the fire. It is an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord. So it reminds us, oh, when we look at this altar and this sacrifice, it reminds us what Jesus did for us. And what do we have here? I've got the different types of animals that they'd sacrifice on the altar. I've got, got a lamb, so I can put my lamb... I can put my lamb on the altar, can't I? It's a sacrifice. And why do I have a cross here on each of these animals? Because. Why? What do you think, Zephy? Yeah, they died for us, but it also reminds me of Jesus. 
See, Jesus died for me. So when I put this lamb, I think, well, this lamb can't die for my sins. But this lamb represents the real lamb of God, Jesus. You see, so when I look at this lamb on the altar, I'm reminded, Jesus died for my sins. And I can put a dove on the altar, can't I? I can put a dove on the altar. Oh, it's coming off a bit. I can put a dove on the altar, or I can put my bull. I sacrifice a bull on the altar. Okay, you like that? This is what we're going to make today. So hopefully it helps you to remember. Okay, let's all stand up. Let's go to the back. And we'll get started. <laughs> 